Hello everyone, welcome back to this new tutorial. This time I am going to show you how to create a simple project using the built-in physics functions in GameMaker Studio. So let's begin. First, I'm going to create a sprite. Let's call this sprite SPR object 1 and let's create a simple sprite and let's paint it to red and now I'm going to duplicate it and let's call this author SPR object 2 and let's modify the color I'm going to paint this one in blue so we have now our two sprites. Now I'm going to create the objects for these two sprites. First, obj object one. Let's assign the red sprite to it. Now checks this uses physics checks box. Here you can select the type of collision shape for your sprite circle box or shape obviously in this case i am going to choose the box and after that just click in this modify collision shape button you have to adjust the points to your sprite and now i'm done with this and this is all basically all we need to initialize our objects in order to use the built-in physics functions now I have to create a room and you have to go to this tab here physics and checks this room is physics world okay and finally just add the object to the room and let's test it as you can see the object is falling affected by the gravity force of the room as you can see here we have a gravity force of 10 now I'm going to duplicate this object let's duplicate it let's call it obj object 2 let's change the sprite and now I am going to set the density parameter to zero. By doing this, I am going to achieve a static object. I mean, in, in other words, this second object won't be affected by the gravity force. So let's place it in the room and let's test it. As you can see, the red box is falling, the object 1 is falling, while the object 2 is in the same place. Uh, it's not being affected by the gravity force. Now I want to enable the collision detection between these two objects. In order to do this, I'm going to add a new collision event in the object 2. Let's add this collision event and in order to make it work we have to add an action here in this event. If we don't add, if we don't place an action here, this event is not going to work. So let's add probably the most simple action we can add. Simple a comment. Now let's test it. Now the the red box, as as you can see, the collision is working. But if we delete this action, this common action, you will see that the collision is disabled. So it's very important that you place an action here in this event. Otherwise, 
it won't work. Okay, now in order to make things a little bit more interesting, I'm going to create a third object. I'm going to create this object. I'm going to call it obj object spawner object spawner and I'm going to add a global left release event in order to create an instance of the object one each time I release the left mouse button so let's add a code action and instance create mouse x mouse y and object object 1 now let's place an instance of this third object in the room I'm going to place it here and now let's let's test it let's play the project and I'm going to click the left mouse button and as you can see each time I press the left mouse button one instance of the red box or object one is created but in order to make things even more interesting I am going to add a collision between the red boxes so in order to do this we'll need to add a collision band here and as we did before we have to place an action here in order to make it work and as as we did before I'm going to add a common action and let's run the game and well as you can see now the red boxes are colliding against each other so well there you can see it okay I just wanted to show you how easy you can enable the physics function in GameMaker Studio I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you in my upcoming Game Maker Studio video tutorials. Bye!